Ah, there we go. I am live. Yay! And I've got the camera thing all worked out. I got a really cool thing going on, so I'll wait for people to pop on and we'll do our artichokes. So, right now I'm all by myself. See who pops on first. <sighs> for those people who are watching this um, recorded, hope you're all doing well. Hope you enjoyed the two minutes of shopping at Whole Foods, buying the artichokes. And there's Shelly's first. Hi, Shelly. Glad to see you. Thanks for popping in. Shelly, did you see the uh, grocery store? I think you did because I think you commented on it. That was Whole Foods, by the way. So, so I, I, Shelly, I've got the camera thing all worked out. It's going to be awesome tonight. I've got it figured out and I have a way to be hands-free and to turn it down to look at the food. I am so excited. I am so excited. So, um... Yeah, I figured you did. I thought I saw that there. And who else just popped on? I see someone else just popped on. When you pop on, um, say hi. So, oh, I'm wearing my different glasses. Oh, I didn't put on my little round glasses. Oh, I'm going to go get them. Hold on. There we go. That's better. I can see you better, too. These are stronger than my other glasses. Hi, Sunny. Nice to see you. Welcome. So is everybody having a good week? People on the East Coast, are you still getting uh, slammed with bad weather? I think it should be good by now, right? I think you're okay. I have to see what... Um... I, I know, I have so many different ones. Hey, Mary Ellen, how are you? Hey, Mary Ellen, how's the weather over there now this week? Any better? Hi, Monica. Oh, Monica, hi. I'm so glad you're here. I'm glad you're working out the thing with the newsletter. I was a little worried about how you were going to get that. I think you have to do a setting, though, like put me in your addresses so I'm not a spam. I think that's how it works. Oh, that's good. Chilly but clear there. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. And, Sonny, you're over on the East Coast in Maryland or Virginia. Maryland, right? No show home today? What's that mean? No show home today. Ah, uh, okay. Well, we're gonna get we're gonna get started pretty soon. I'm gonna give it a couple minutes. Maryland, that's right. I, I got it right. I said Maryland, didn't I? Did I say Maryland? Yeah, I think I did. Okay, good. I had a feeling. I'm starting to catch on. <gasps> so, okay. Well, we have six people on so far. Let's see. Monica, Sunny, Mary Ellen. Shelly, that's right, Shelly's in Virginia. Yeah, yeah. And, um, yeah, I did. Okay, thanks. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and get started because um, I want to get through the whole process because I'm going to show you what I did. So, so far what I did was I made um, a couple already because in the Instapot they're going to take 30 minutes. Hi, Carol. So in the Instapot, they're going to take 30 minutes. So I've got the camera set up, Carol. You're going to love it. I, I got a really good angle. I, I got a new doodad. Oh, it's great. Well, I didn't get a new doodad. I had the doodad. So anyway. All right. So just to show you, I did make a couple already because what I want to do is show you how to eat them. I get to eat that in front of you. So sorry, but it's going to be so good. So this I started a little while ago. So you can see the two artichokes in there. And all the juice and you can see kind of I'll pour that juice into a mug and you'll be able to see it now when you go to pick them up you know they're done when the leaves are really loose and start falling off okay so these are two that I made today and I will trust me they will I'll eat them at every meal so right now I'm just taking the stems out of the pot and and this is, not the stems, the leaves, and this is one of the stems. I forgot to save the other stem. I don't know what I was thinking, but I didn't save it. All right. So there it is. There's my liquid. I'm going to pour that liquid. I don't think that mug is going to be big enough. Let me grab a measuring cup here. I'm going to grab my big measuring cup. See how much this actually is. And then I'm going to go ahead and pour this in here and because it has the garlic and the and I'll show you everything I use it's really very delicious I'm gonna take a sip ah 
it's so good. I'd say it needs a little salt maybe, but that's it. It's delicious. So I'm going to put that aside and save that for later. And you can use it as a soup base, which is really nice. So how you eat an artichoke is you take the leaf and you pull the meat off right in there. Now, hi Kelly, nice to see you today. All right, so here's my artichoke and you can see it's flowering, right? And I'm gonna pull the leaves off. And when I pull my leaves off, you're gonna notice in the leaf, there's some breading, cause that's my breadcrumbs with my spices. And that's all you do. And then you throw the leaves away. So notice, I just pulled with my teeth and that's it. You just scrape your teeth on the end and then throw the leaf away. This leaf is no longer anything good. So I'm going to now show you how to make the eggplant, the eggplant. Mm, I got eggplant on the brain. I was thinking about that for, for another show. Anyway, I'm going to try to put this down. Boy, I really like this. Oh, okay, no snowstorm, Mary Ellen. I get it. Yeah, no problem. I should have guessed that because we talked about snowstorms last week. And then here's the, the stem is so tender it's falling apart. And you just eat the stem and it's delicious. All right, so as yummy as that is, I'm going to put it down for now because I still have to show you how to get to the heart. But before I do that, I'm going to show you what I did for the filling, for the, for the stuffing part. All right, so look at that. Look at that. Is that not professional or what? You're getting a good view. While you're looking, and grab my towel. Okay, so. Um, so here's my, here's my um, artichoke. And what I'm going to do is you definitely have to have a serrated knife. Okay? So I'm going to chop off the stem, set it aside. But I'm also going to chop off a little bit of the bottom. Because if you leave too much of the bottom on, you're going to end up not being able to get to the heart very well. And you want to have a flat bottom. Okay? Wouldn't we all like flat bottoms? Ha ha. All right. So now, and you see the brown. That's because the brown is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. You just want to make sure it's a nice, firm artichoke and it's not too, uh, it's not super soft. Now I'm going to take and I'm going to cut off the top with a serrated knife. Because they're very hard. Okay? So now I'm throwing away this part. And unfortunately, you really can't eat this part. All righty. So now that I have that cut off, if you feel any of these are too prickly, like this one's just a tiny bit prickly, I'll just take a scissor, but most of the time they're usually okay. And I'll just trim the tops if I find one that's too prickly. That doesn't, I don't find that issue too often. Very rare. It doesn't bother me. All right, so now you're going to take your, your, um, Eggplant again. What is on my brain? You're going to take your artichoke and you're just going to fan it open. Okay, just like I put in the instructions. All right, so now in here, and I think I'm going to add a little bit of salt to this. So in here I have a mixture of um, plain breadcrumbs, and you can use Italian if you have it. I use some roasted granulated garlic. And I use some onion powder. Now you could use fresh garlic. I normally I would do that, but I just wasn't in the mood to mince it, so I didn't. All right. So now I'm going to take my leaves. Can you see the dog under there? Go. And I'm going to take this filling and I'm going to put it in my leaves. And that's really all there is to it, believe it or not. And as soon as I get this in here, I'm going to put it in the Instapot and I'm going to turn it on and get this one cooked up for me for tomorrow. I'll probably eat the other two tonight because I'm hungry and they're not filling. Now, I did tell you in the newsletter, or in, no, I told you online actually. And if anybody's uh, typing to me, I won't be able to read it yet because I've got the, you know, the phone is facing away from me. So... And this is it. This is all there is to this. It's pretty darn simple. And you don't need a lot. I'm doing a lot this time because um, I like it. All right. Now I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it in. I don't want to put it right on there. 
crumbs. I'm going to take that and I'm just going to stick it in here in my pot. I'm going to run the water. I want the water, because I'm using the Instapot, I want the water to be really hot. That speeds up the process on the Instapot. If you're doing it on the stove, you're just you're going to do the same amount of water and you're going to put it on medium low or low and then you're going to cook it for about an hour and a half to two hours. After an hour and a half, you check. If the leaves come out easily, then it's done. Sorry about that. We just had to sneak one in there. All right, so my water is hot. Let me go ahead and put my water in now. I'm filling up a cup. All right, so I'm going to first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour the water over top so that the water goes inside all the leaves. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put it in there. About half, not even half, maybe a quarter, a little more than a quarter full. And that's it. There you go. Now I'm going to stick it in my Instapot. I'm going to put on my lid. Make sure this is closed. You don't want your, you don't want your steamer thing to be open. I'm going to hit manual for 30 minutes. It's on 30 already because I had done one already. And that's it. Done. I set it aside. Good to go. So, yeah, Sandy, I do rinse them and wash them. This one I had rinsed earlier. They've been sitting on the counter drying upside down. So, yeah, you can wash them, of course. Do you want, want people not to eat the hay? Yes, I'm going to show you that. So, let's go back down and I will dissect this one for you. All right, so I'm going to take... Um, let me do another bowl because I am going to eat this later. So these are all the leaves I have to eat. I'm so excited. I'm going to get to eat all these leaves and all that nice stuffing that's in there. It's all stuck on my leaves. I can't wait. I'll probably put some juice in there too. So you're going to eat all these leaves. You're going to eat it down, eat it down, eat it down. See, look at, and what, the, the more in you get, the softer it becomes. Mm -mm, that was good. Okay. Then I'm going to keep going. And I will tell you that artichokes like this taste nothing, nothing like the ones in the can or the frozen ones. They have a whole different taste. So I still can eat that part. And now I'm going to get down to near the heart. So as I get down, it's going to come down to... This is the stuff you don't want to eat. See those? Those hairs? You do not want them. So, I'm going to take a spoon, and all I'm going to do is just pull out the, those hairy things. Get rid of those. And this is the part where, when I was a kid, and we'd have our long Italian tables full of family on holidays, especially Easter, Actually, all holidays, I think they, was, they would make pots and pots of artichokes. They'd make everybody one artichoke. And we'd had like 20 people there at least. So all the ladies would be cooking all day down the basement in the big tables. It was in the city of Bayonne, Bayonne, New Jersey. Okay? So I've got all the hairs out. Now this is the piece de resistance, if I said it right. This is the heart. And this is the best, best part. And mm, that is the best. And let me tell you, when we were kids, the grown-ups used to tell us, oh, don't eat that, it's bad for you. And then they would steal it and they would eat the hearts out of our artichoke. And that's it. All done. Oh, here's a little piece of the stem left. Mm, I didn't show you how to do the stem. Oh, I gotta turn this off. I forgot the stem. Very important, let me show you the stem. Very important. So now with the stem, I am gonna trim off the back, the, just the stub on the bottom. And now do you see in the stem, you see that round core in the middle? That's the part you're gonna eat. So when you're buying them, you can see how big that is. So the bigger that is, the better, because then you don't have to trim as much off. And I don't need a serrated knife to do this, so I will trim this down. 
because this part is very woody and not enjoyable. So it's tough and rough. So now I'm down to just that middle section. And now I'll just throw this in the Instapot real quick. Oh, I gotta wait till some of the steam evaporates. I can't believe I did that. Darn it. Gee, things were going so good, weren't they? Okay. So there we have it. I'm just waiting for my steam to escape so I can get my lid on. Oh, let me do this. Oh my. Well, it'll just, there we go. It'll just take an extra few minutes, so that's all right. Okay, now we did it. Now it's done. Yeah, the stem Shelly is excellent. It's so very good. I love the stem. So there it goes. Perfect. So that's it. Do you believe that's how simple it is? Just pull off those leaves. Enjoy that extra stuffing. Pull it through and throw the leaf away. There's a restaurant here that grill, their, grill theirs. Now, I, I would have a feeling that they probably boil them first, but then they cut them in half while they're whole and then they grill them. Boy, is that good. But they give you a dipping sauce, and I'm sure that dipping sauce has mayo or oil or something in there that I wouldn't eat. But, but I love it because you can even just, you can just take the leaf also, when you got all that nice um, stuffing on there, and you can just dip it in the, the liquid. Mmm, that's really good. Really good. So there you have it. Who would have thought this was so easy, right? Yep, and you can stuff them in the pot. You could probably put maybe four in the Instapot and four in a big pot on the stove if you do them on the stove. So they're really very simple. They're really very simple. I'm going to try to straighten you out now and see how it works. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Yes, nutritional value. It has protein. It has antioxidants. And it has um, fiber. And it has... Uh, by bio, what did I put on there? I, I put it on the, I think I put it on the Facebook page. Biotic, biotics? No, is that right? What did it have? That fourth thing. It had four things. These are really good for you. These are really good for you. Oh, look at that one with all the stuffing on it. Can you see that? Mm. But yeah, they're very healthy. At least the fresh ones like this are. Now, the ones in the jar, you know, they, they, those are probably the baby ones. Oh, that's right. Who told me about the baby ones? That was, was that, that wasn't Sunny, was it? Maybe that was Sunny. Somebody said, what about the baby ones? How long do you cook them? I'll be honest with you, I've never found the baby ones, but I'll bet you they might be at the Asian market. I'll have to check there, and then if they are, I'll have to test those. Mmm, the stuffing Shelly was just breadcrumbs, uh, garlic, garlic, um, garlic powder or garlic, granulated garlic, onion powder. I mix it in a bowl. There's really no measurement. Kind of go by what, you, what your taste is and a little bit of salt this time. I had a dash of salt. Oh, it wasn't you, Sunny? Okay. I can see her face, but I can't remember why her name is escaping me. Oh, well. Anyway, so that's how easy it is to make those. And um, anybody have any questions besides the nutritional value? And I'm just going to keep eating. Carol, you always eat these. Do you have anything to add? Any suggestions? Any, any, um, anything that you might... Oh, hi, Julie. Um, granulated garlic, onion powder, and the salt. So you're just missing the onion powder there, Shelly. But Carol, you've eaten these all, you eat these all the time. Are you still on? Hi, Jamie. Um, you might have a variation for your family because the Italians love these. Normally they say one is a serving, but um, I mean, depends on what else you're having. I mean, I live alone, so I'll eat both of these tonight because they're not filling. Now, you don't eat the leaves in the middle. 
Oh, here, Carol has something to say. She said, they're delicious. I've not had them for a while. We always added breadcrumbs, oregano, Italian seasoning, and basil. My mother also added a little cheese, of course, which I wouldn't do now. Yeah. So we always used Italian breadcrumbs and olive oil and garlic, fresh garlic, but I veganized it. So these are veganized. Yeah. We didn't add Italian seasoning or oregano. I'm not a big oregano fan. I don't think we added basil. But I like the, I like, I have an itchy nose. Oh. But I like what you've added. Oh, good to see you too, Jackie. I'm, I'm glad you were able to pop on. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I have a very itchy nose. I don't know what it's from. So, Jackie, you'll have to watch the beginning later. We made the um, um, artichokes, whole artichokes. Well, Shelly, I'll be honest with you. Normally, I like Italian breadcrumbs, but I know they do have a little bit of cheese in them. So, I, I started switching over to just a plain organic breadcrumb. This is Trader Joe's. So, yes, I also put that in there too about all the vitamins and minerals. It has zinc and copper, phosphate, calcium, yep, potassium, yep. And then the short version were the four things I said. Oh, company is coming. You'll wow them with this. Mary Ellen, do you have a, um, you have an Instapot, right? Of course you do. You watch Jill. All right. Um, you're welcome, Shelly. So, I know, Linda, I'm sorry. I wipe my hands on, my, on the bottom part of the towel and my nose on the top part. So they're not touching the same spot. So, I'm going to stop eating for now. Oh, really? Oh, you got to tell me. Hang on, I got to see that again. Oh, Jackie, you got to tell me about that. A lobster salad. How do you get it to taste like lobster? I used to love lobster. I miss that. Itchy nose means money. Uh, company? Darn. Uh, it's the itchy hand that means money, huh? Darn it. Why couldn't the itchy nose mean money instead? Oh, well. Well, company, we'll see who they are. If they're, if they're around before I eat all the artichokes, they can have one. So, yeah, I want to know how you make a lobster salad using chickpeas. I use chickpeas sometimes to make a no tuna salad, or, um, or now I use soy curls to make a no chicken salad. Um, I think it's really just the, the sea flakes you add to it. But the texture, but lobster, you, you're using chickpeas for lobster? Let me go back and read that again. Wait a minute. Oh, you use artichoke hearts to make a lobster salad. That I'd like to know how you do. Yeah, I mean, that's what you're looking for is the texture too, especially when you're making um, a no chicken salad or a no egg salad. It has to do a lot with texture. With the no egg salad, when I use tofu, I will put black salt to give it that egg flavor because black salt is really sulfur. It's not salt salt. It's sulfur. So you can only use a little teeny bit. And um, I had the no chicken salad for lunch today. I made that with some soy curls. And then, I mean, I, I just decided last minute, you know, I'm really in the mood. So I just took like a little tiny bit out, put it in hot water, got everything else ready. By the time 10 minutes passed, um, I was able to drain them. I threw them. I had made a, um, yesterday for dinner, I made a um, dill cashew cream. So I still had it in the same container. Actually, it was probably in... It's probably in here. So I still had some left, so I just took all the dressing out that I could, and even though there was dressing all over the place, I just threw the all my ingredients in there. I took my celery and my um, soy curls, and I threw them in there. And then um, that was it. I mixed it, and then I added everything else, and then I made my sandwich with, you know, cucumbers and tomatoes. So, yeah, black salt, I'm telling you, black salt is really... have, have do many, most of you know about black salt? I'm going to wash my hands real quick. They're a little sticky from the juice. Send me a message. I'll be right on. Let me grab a clean towel. There we go. I got a clean towel, so don't freak out on me. 
Oh, Shelly, yeah, black salt is amazing. Uh, and the funny part is it's not black. Not at all. I wish you could smell it. Because it smells like egg. Let's see if I have it right here. Let me show it to you. Now I'm not prepared. I don't have it handy. I mean, it's in there. I just don't want to take too much time looking for it. It's in my nice, clean pantry. Yeah, Sunny, use it sparingly. Just sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle tiny bits. Because when I eat the little round potatoes for snacks, if I put a little tiny bit of black salt on there, I think I'm eating a deviled egg. Now I make my own mayo, Mary Ellen. I, and actually, I really don't even make mayo anymore because I live alone. And if I make, I've made mayo before and I've made it with tofu. And um, I don't eat it fast enough because I don't eat enough. So I do a half a cup of cashews with lemon juice, water, and spices that I like. And I make a mayo that way, like a, a cashew cream to use instead. Oh, Monica, I'm trying to think where did I get mine. I think I got it, I either got it at an Asian grocery, an Indian grocery, or Amazon. Those are the only three things I could think of. Think of. Those are the only three places I would shop for that kind of stuff. A local grocery never would carry that. So that's the black salt I'm talking about. Either um, Amazon, yeah, Amazon too, Mary Ellen, good. Cool. Yep. So that's what we're doing. Well, well, we, I can't believe we've chatted and we've already gone through 25 minutes, 27 minutes, 26 minutes. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, that's cook and look. It's down to 23 minutes. Can you see that? So probably in about a half an hour, I've got another one coming, but I'll save that one for breakfast or lunch tomorrow. You're welcome, Monica. Sorry you was shaking there. I've got this on this wiry thing. It's really cool. So, um, you need a condiments video? That's interesting. That would work, wouldn't it? All right, guys, I'm going to hit the road. I'm going to go eat my uh, dinner now and get my vitamins in. I'm going to drink my broth and uh, have a wonderful night. Thank you. And I'll send, I don't know yet what I'm sending. Hi, Sandy. I don't know what I'm sending for next week's recipe yet. I'm still playing with a couple ideas in my head. I have to see what I feel like. I mean, I have a really good eggplant parm that I could do, but it would take longer than a half an hour. So I'll play with that. You can send me suggestions in the um, Facebook group. That'll be fine, too. All right, guys. Love you all. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your time. It's such a pleasure serving you. Thanks, guys. Bye now.